Okay. This is I can tell already it's reminiscent of Batman Returns, okay? But I'm looking like up above the up above the symbol, it looks a little different than well, there's no cape there. So maybe cuz I think the cape kind of covered that part part Kinda, I don't know. I don't know. But however, um, the suit looks dirty. Okay, so either uh, he hung it up like that, um, or uh, he he brought it out of retirement and got some blood on it and didn't decide to dust it off. I don't know. Um, it's dirty, dusty, a little scratched. It looks like it's got pollen on it, and it's got blood on it. Reminds me of the Watchmen pen. It's got blood on it. Don't it look like the blood got its own bat ears? Right there, you, you, you guys, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> looks like it's got its own bat ears on the bat symbol. Not the yellow part, the black bat symbol. It's to the side a little bit, looks like it, <laughs> it does. So, it makes me wonder, like, if this Batman is going to be getting down and dirty. Because you remember in Flashpoint, he didn't mind killing you. That's, that's my type of Batman right there. You can't just let the Joker or whoever just kill hundreds, thousands of people, keep locking them up in Arkham and letting them go. In real life, which a lot of these movies sometimes say they try to emulate, you know, they still lock them up, or then when they let them, when they kill them, then fans get mad. Batman, kill I like a killing ass Batman. That's what I like. Because in reality, okay, if you saw a dude kept massacring people, and because you refused to take him out, he, he killed millions or thousands and thousands, and you could have left it at maybe one or two people. I'm sorry, it's your fault, okay? Because you keep locking them up, think you're going to be rehabilitated, all right? It's Batman's fault his rogues gallery keep killing motherfuckers, all right? It's his fault. It's always been his fault for not handling it like the Punisher. I don't care how noble that I don't kill her. I don't kill. Well, I'll just keep on killing more of it. <laughs> it's Batman's fault. Love you, Zack Snyder, for making a killing Batman. Love you, Michael. Uh, Michael. Uh, Tim Burton <laughs> for making a killing Batman. Thank you very much. All right. I appreciate it. People forget that, don't you? That Tim Burton's Batman was killing and people weren't, you know what I mean? Remember when he put the bomb in the fat dude's pants? It was like, remember that? Remember when he backed the Batmobile up, turned the shit on, put the dude on fire, remember that? Okay? That's my Batman. And this is the Batman that is returning. And it says here, Michael Keaton is gearing up once again to be able to say in his best gravelly voice. He invented the Batman voice first. All right. He did. He changed his voice first. Okay. Kristen Bales was more overt. People remember it more. <sighs> People remember that more. But Michael Keaton's was more subtle. How much do you weigh? Remember that? You know what I mean? His was, you know, 
Like I said, anyway, uh, I'm Batman. The actor is returning to the role he brought to the big screen in the upcoming The Flash as the speedster runs so fast that he breaks into alternate universe, causing the Flashpoint storyline to kick off in the DC film Multiverse. We don't know how much, how, uh, we don't know much about his role in the other, in the film, other, sorry, I'm just, I got things running through my head. Then this Batman may be a kind of mentor to the Flash. But we do not know that there will be, but what we do not know is that the, what? But we do know, do now know that there will be blood on the Michael Keaton bat suit. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I took a fat burner earlier and my mind's speeding a mile a minute just like a speedster. The image of the blood-stained bat symbol in the middle of Keaton's bat suit was shared by the Flash director, Andy Machete, who unhelpfully posted it without any comment. Just why there is blood on Batman's costume isn't clear, but it could hint that Keaton isn't making it out alive from the film. It also raises questions as to whether or not the actor will be donning the suit for the film. Early reports hinted that he would be more of a Bruce Wayne than a Batman given his old age, but this shot is clearly from the chest of the costume with its trademark bright yellow bat symbol unique to the this iteration of the film of Batman. So maybe Keaton will suit up again. Hopefully this doesn't mean we're getting a CGI younger Keaton throughout the film. I'll tell you this, man. <clears throat> I'll tell you this, Keaton, the way people have photoshopped him and stuff, he reminds me of the Batman that was fighting Lex in the, uh, in the fortress scene in DC Online. The gray hair scarred up, you know, he didn't really get killed in the beginning that we saw that trailer, so... Hey, man, look, I'm looking forward to it. Just going to be nostalgia heaven for me. I love the Keaton as Batman. I can't wait. To, I hope they do make him like Thomas Wayne was. Just killing motherfuckers, not giving a goddamn. Because I love that. Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think. If you enjoyed my video on this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. I'm Batman. 10 million subscribers. Woo!